kids, you should be working on these problems. I'm going to put the answers to them. You can watch as I do them if you need to. Make sure you show all of your work when doing these problems. This would be how you would show 25 divided by 8. You have to show the division. In number eight, it wants it to the nearest cent, so it's going to be $3.13. If you put down the other, you would not get it counted right. So it's $3, the five turns the two into a three, 13 cents, the answer to number one. For number two, two and a fourth billion is 2.25 billion, which is two billion 250,000 or 250 million thank you you have three zeros in the thousands place and three zeros in the units so 2 billion 250 million looks like that a lot easier sometimes to write two and a fourth billion prime factorization for 64 on this problem I'm going to use the uh, tree method as opposed to the box method. What times what is 64? 8 times 8. Now I'm going to break it down. 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. Here again, 2 times 4. So, using exponents, it's going to be 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 power. Any questions? That's using exponents with that one. What is the greatest common factor of 36 and 6? What's the largest number that can divide them both? 6. 6, six will divide 6 and 6 divides 36. Standard numeral. Okay. 10 to the third power is 1,000. 4 times 1,000 is 4,000, plus 6 times 10 to the first is just a 10. 6 times 10 is 60. So the answer is 4,060. If the chance of rain is 60%, what is the chance it will, now if this were a question and you could highlight, you would highlight the word not rain. What's the percentage that it's not going to rain? 40 percent. Very good because 40 percent plus 60 is 100. That's called its complement. Remember when we talked about events and their complements? Yes, that's its complement. What is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle if one of the sides is 10 inches long? Well. That means all of them are the same in an equilateral triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? Three. So it's going to be 3 times 10. The answer is 30 inches. Number 8. Two triangles are congruent. What is the perimeter of each? Now they're talking about these. So 10, 10. If this is 9, then this one's 9. And if this one's 11, that means this one's 11, right? So each one's going to have the same perimeter. 11 plus 9 is 20, plus 10 equals 30 centimeters. Now, all right, you're in seventh grade, so you have to do this one. If the radius of a tire is 25 centimeters, then what is its circumference? 
So if the radius is 25, that means the diameter is what? 50. And the circumference is pi times diameter. So you're going to have 3.14 times 50, and that will give you the answer. What did you get? 157 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the hexagon? This is the hexagon. It has six sides. So on this one, we have a couple mystery sides. Here we have this mystery side. And on this side, we are having this as our mystery side. So to find the area of it, I know, and the 2, I think, goes with this number here. The 2 is that side. So 3 plus 2 equals this. So what's 3 plus 2? So that's the mystery side of 5. And on this one, 7 is the full length. What's 7 minus 3? So this mystery side is 4. So for the perimeter, you have um, 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7, that's a 10, plus 5. So 10, 5, and 5, the answer is going to be 20 feet. Now for the area, I would cut it up into two pieces. This piece is 3 by 2. That's 6. This piece is 7 by 3. So that's 21. 6 plus 21 equals 27 feet. Are there any questions? Okay, we're going to finish this worksheet tomorrow, and I will be collecting it um, for 40 points. So make sure we get that done. All right, now... We are going to look at yesterday's worksheet and go over the answers, and then we're going to do our new one. So get yesterday's worksheet out. Okay. Problem number one on this worksheet. I'm looking for my answer key. I had it. Here it is. Is it in this one? No. Well, did we? I gave you hints. Okay, we did go over the front side, but we did not get the back side. Okay, so let's go over the back side's answers. Yes. You've got to make sure you ask to know so that I know it, that you know how to do these. Oh, I've almost forgot about our thing. Thank you. All right. In problem number five, after January 1st, these people, they had to keep track of their swimming lessons. And um, there was another lesson, swimming lessons and band, and band practice. So on this, and I had a nice little diagram all drawn out. So, I set up my calendar. I went from 1 to 31. I did swimming lessons uh, every fourth day. So, my swimming lessons were highlighted in yellow. And band practice had a green line through it. I put a green line through my band practice. Okay? So, um... Band practice was there. No, excuse me. Swimming lessons were green. And band practice is yellow because it's the fourth day. Now, it wants to know how many days in January will Alita have both band practice and swimming lessons. Well, there are two days. It's the 12th and the 24th when I had something land on the same day. Another way of thinking about it, at least common multiples of 3 and 4 is 12. And then it's like, well, what's another um, multiple of 12 that's in between 1 and 31? 24. So that's how you would get the answer two days. The answer is B, two days. In problem number six, in simplest form, that's 1, 6 times 9 halves, 3 divides 6 
twice. 3 divides 9 3 times. And the answer is 3 fourths. You should have J. In number 7, negative 8 is less than negative 3. The answer is B. If you look at the number line, you can see the bigger the negative number is, the smaller its value. In number 8, a triangle has sides that measure 3 and 54 hundredths, 5 and 12 hundredths, and 2 and 30 hundredths inches. Find the perimeter. Well, you just line your decimal points up, and when you do that, you end up getting the answer 10 and 96 hundredths, G. In problem number 9, for every 12 slices of pizza sold at Ping's Pizza Shop, 3 slices are pepperoni, 4 are sausage, and the rest are cheese. Okay, what is the ratio of pepperoni to cheese? So, we have pepperoni, sausage, total, and cheese. Well, we know 3 are pepperoni. 4 are sausage, your total is 12. How many are cheese? 5. Because 3 plus 4 is 7, 12 minus 7 is 5. Now they want the ratio of pepperoni to cheese. And that's going to be 3 to 5, B. Any questions on that? Kara is training for a 5 kilometer race. On the first day of training she runs 75 hundredths of a kilometer. What percent of the total distance does she run the first day of training? Okay, on that one, 0.75 is, well, 75 percent is not even a part of it, over 5. 0.75 over 5. So we know that that is 5 kilometers. On the first day of training, she runs 0.75. What percent of the total distance does she run on the first day? So 7.75 over 5 equals what over, we need the percent, something over 100, right? Percent means per 100. 5 times 20 is 100. So 0.75 times 20 will give you H, 15% for that one, 15%. Because 5 times 20, 20 times 0.75 is 1500, which will be 15, 15 over 100, 15%. Number 11. A four-pack of batteries costs $5.16. At this price, what is the cost of one battery? You divide. You're going to find the unit rate. 5.16 divided by 4. Put your decimal point up. It goes into it once. Subtract. Bring down. Goes into it twice. 8. Subtract. Bring down. It's $1.29. A. Any questions on this? It must be one of those that lasts a long time. Okay, now let's, I'm going to give you today your worksheet and we do also have um, this problem here where you have to find the unknown. So we're going to do this exit ticket. I'm going to give you one of these and the worksheet. Do the ticket first. And then we'll then work on 12 to 16 problems. That's not very many. How many problems? 12 to 16. So that's 8. Oh. No, it's not even 8. Not 12 to 16. 12 to 21. I'm thinking oh, it's like what? 12 to 21. Did you say 12 to 16? That's 90. Yeah, 4. I'm thinking there's more than 4. I don't know. This 30 property is my favorite. Oh, we're still. Let me stop recording. We're recording. Hi. Hi, guys.